AMD has made an unexpected announcement regarding its next-generation GPUs and revealed details through an update to the Radeon Open Compute platform. According to the latest rumors, the high-end RDNA 4 graphics card is expected to rival the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 by featuring 64 compute units and 16 gigabytes of VRAM. While we expect better manufacturing processes for RDNA 4, the real performance improvements will likely come from changes in the design of the chip itself. Let's dive into what we know so far about the AMD RX 8800 series and what makes it so exciting. The most recent leak has surfaced and revealed detailed specs for AMD's next-gen Radeon GPUs, the RX 8800 XT and RX 8600. The RX 8800 XT, according to the leak, is expected to be the premium offering in the RDNA 4 family that's aimed to push the boundaries of performance. This leak aligns with previous rumors that suggested the RX 8800 XT could match NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4080 in terms of ray tracing performance. The rumor further indicates that the RX 8800 XT would be placed in the same performance class as the Radeon RX 7800 XT, though it's hoped that AMD has made improvements to ray tracing with the new RDNA 4 architecture to bring it closer to NVIDIA's standards. Kepler L2, a reliable tech leaker with a good history of sharing AMD-related information, has provided the scoop detailing the configuration of the compute units for both GPUs in a thread on X. Of course, AMD hasn't confirmed any of this yet, but based on Kepler L2's history, this information holds significant weight. In the latest update, we've got new references to GFX12 RX 8800 and GFX12 RX 8600 showing up alongside older entries like GFX11 RX 7900. This tells us that GFX12 is likely a code for a fresh GPU architecture. The RX 8800 and RX 8600 are likely different models within that architecture. Notably, the changelog drops a key detail, mentioning the Navi4X architecture. This is a big clue that these GPUs belong to AMD's Navi4X series, which will likely be the backbone of their next-gen Radeon graphics cards. Rumors and leaks have provided some insights into the potential specifications of the upcoming Radeon RX 8800 XT. According to Kepler L2, it's expected to feature 64 compute units, the core components driving AMD's Radeon GPUs. This represents a decrease of 8 compute units compared to the Radeon RX 6800 XT, but an increase of 4 units when compared to the Radeon RX 7800 XT. If AMD sticks to the same architecture as in the past, we can expect the Radeon RX 8800 XT to come with 4096 stream processors. This is an increase from the 3840 found in the 7800 XT. The RX 8800 XT will also come with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, just like the RX 7800 XT and RX 7700 XT. In terms of cache, it will have 64 megabytes of Infinity cache, which is similar to the 7800 XT, though less than the 128 megabytes of Infinity cache seen in the 6800 XT. This gives us an idea of the performance improvements we might see, particularly in terms of memory bandwidth and processing power. When we look at AMD's latest GPU lineup, it seems like a relatively safe approach, borrowing elements from previous generations, but with a refreshed architecture. The memory configurations remain largely unchanged, and the number of compute units is similar to past models. If these specifications are accurate, and AMD intends to challenge NVIDIA's RTX 5000 series, the ray tracing capabilities of RDNA 4 will need to outperform the RTX 4000 series. More importantly, it should be on par with NVIDIA's upcoming GPUs, such as the RTX 5070. In addition to competitive ray tracing performance, AMD will need to adopt an aggressive pricing strategy. NVIDIA has established a strong presence in the PC gaming market, and if AMD aims to capture 40 to 50% of the GPU market, particularly in the mid-range sector, effective pricing will be significant. AMD's CEO, Lisa Su, recently shared during the company's quarter three earnings call that the first products built on the RDNA 4 architecture will be released by early 2025. RDNA 4 promises to enhance gaming performance significantly, especially in areas like ray tracing and artificial intelligence. The company is on track to launch the initial RDNA 4 GPUs in early 2025, 
with the new Radeon RX 8000 series expected to be unveiled at CES 2025 on January 6th. These products will then be gradually rolled out in the weeks following the event. Till then, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.